After we have introduced manual assembly system, the next part is to focus on automated assembly system using mechanized system able to perform automated assembly on a large number of component. This part of, autom this part of automated system only applicable if the conditions are met, such as we have high demand, stable product design, assembly component, assembly, assembly consists of a very few component and the product is designed for automated. As simple as it sounds, it's only good for mass production. Uh, so this is an example of a parts delivery system at a workstation. At start, we first we have the hopper. Okay, we have the hopper. The fat beading mechanism is capable of removing parts from the hopper at a certain rate f. So we have the hopper, which is like a container. Okay, in which are all the components are loaded at the workstation. Uh, if we have different workstation, it's better to use a separate hopper. And they are initially oriented at a system. And then we use what's known as a selector. Okay, uh, selector, it's or orienter. Uh, so the selector orienter, this element of the delivery system, uh, it will establish how to place the component in the right orientation. Okay. We have what's known as a parts feeder. It's a parts feeder here. Parts feeder is simply it removes the component from the hopper all the way and give it to the selector. And then we have what's known as a feeder track. Feeder track is like a conveyor. It conveys a unit from the selector all the way down, okay, to the escapement device, um, to the escapement device where, where all the assembly work had, as you could see here. We have as well the escapement device remove component from the feed track at time interval um, which is a time interval that's consistent with the cycle time of the assembly work head so the part feeding mechanism which is the one here is able capable of removing part from the hopper at a certain rate so it remove at a rate f okay from the hopper this part are assumed to be randomly oriented initially and must be presented to the selector or oriented to establish the correct orientation. In this case of a selector, a certain proportion of the part will be correctly oriented initially and this will be allowed to pass through the system. The remaining will be rejected back into the hopper. Okay, so we have parts which are already placed in the right position. This will be considered and the remaining will be placed back into the hopper. Let us define the uh, angle okay, phi to be the proportion of components that pass through the system. Okay, so the effective effective feed rate is equal to F times theta. The remaining proportion 1 minus theta or phi is to be recirculated back into the hopper and this one will not be accepted. This one will not be accepted. Okay. Assuming, and we have here the cycle time for the work head is FC, and we have here the value F theta going into the feed track. Assuming that the rate F phi or F theta is greater than the cycle, okay. So we need a way to limit the number of parts placed on the feed track. Okay, in a way, this is the cycle time. This is the amount of unit placed on the feed track having the right orientation. If we place more than the feed track can handle or the cycle time can handle or assembly head, therefore we're going to end up with too many units on the feed track. Okay, or we place what is known as high level sensor and low level sensor. Okay, the sensor job is as follow. Whenever the amount of unit, number of unit on the feed track reach a number, a certain number, we stop the system. And whenever it went down, we start the system. Let's do the first example. We have the cycle time for a given assembly work head is six second. Okay. So this is the TC value, 6 seconds per unit. The parts feeder has a feed rate of 50 components per minute. So we have the F value equal 50 components. 
50 units per minute and the probability that a given component fed by the feeder will pass through the selector is phi equal 0.25 the number of parts in the feed track corresponding to the low level center is low level sensor is equal 6 and the capacity of the feed the capacity of the feed track is equal nf2 or the high level sensor equal to 18 Determine how long would it take for the supply of part in the feed track to go from 18 to 6 and how long would it take on average for the supply part to go from 6 to 18 Literally how much time needed for it to, to get filled from 6 to 18 to accumulate and how much time if we stop the part feeder uh, to To consume all those 12 units between the two First, as we have the F component, a 50 unit per minute times 0 point, times 0 0.25, so we have F theta equal 12.5, okay, units per minute, as well as we have number of unit is one unit every six second. Okay, so we have the FC value or RC value, I'm just going to apply the same naming, RC value equal 1 unit every 6 seconds, 10 unit per minute. Therefore, we have F theta minus FC is 2.5 units per minute. So this is the speed at which the unit will accumulate, which is 2.5 minute per unit, 2.5 unit per minute. Okay. So if we stop the system, if we stop the system, if it is 18 minus 6, which is NF2 minus NF1, okay, divided by F theta minus RC. So we need 4.8 minutes. Okay, in 4.8 minutes, the system will accumulate or replenishing to replenish. This is time to replenish. Okay, and how much time would it need it to consume those item? 12, it goes from 18 to 6 to consume those item from NF1 to NF2, NF2 to NF1, from 18 to 6 divided by 10 unit per minute is equal 12 divided by 10 1.2 minutes therefore in a system the cycle time is equal of this assembly feeder is six minutes okay so four of which is four minute six minute 4.8 minute to replenish during this four, it goes from six all the way up to 18. Then we switch it off for one point minute, it goes back to six. And then another time, it's 4.8 to go, go up from six to eight, and 1.2 from eight to six. Exercise 19.1, page 625. A feeder selector device at one of the stations of an automated assembly has a feed rate F equal 25 parts per minute and provide a throughput of one part and four theta equals 0 0.25. The idle cycle of the assembly is 10 seconds. The low level center of the feed track is 10 and the high level is 20. How long will it take for the supply of part two to be depleted? You start a collision from the high level to the low level. How long will it take for the part to be resupplied from the low level to the high level? What proportion of times as the assembly machine is operating with the feeder selectors would be turned on and off? Okay, so first we're gonna start. We have the feed rate of 25 parts per minute. This will be multiplied times 0 0.25. Okay, uh, so F theta 25 times 0 0.25 minus RC equal 25 times 0 0.25 minus and we have the cycle we have the cycle time is equal to okay is 10 second okay 10 second per unit so it's six unit per minute 
okay so f theta minus rc is equal to literally 0 0.25 units per minute so this is the replenishment okay speed all right so time to resupply again i'm gonna remind you it goes up from 10 to 20 is 20 minus 10 nf2 minus nf1 divided by f theta minus rc equal to 40 minutes okay and time to dip, to be depleted from 20 all the way down to 10 so 10 divided by 6 unit per minute so this is equal to 1.667 okay 1.667 okay so we have 10 units so it's 1.667 minute so the total cycle we have in this example is 41.667 40 is to replenish up from 10 to 20 and 1.667 to go down to to 10 okay so if it is starting from 10 we need 40 minutes to go up to 20 and then 1.667 to go down to 10